Hey, what's up? SS Flanker here, and um, this is how you can optimize your model. Um, open up 3ds Max, grab your model, uh, wherever it is. Blood, Pitbull, drag and drop that into Max. All right, let's expand that viewport by hitting Alt W, and we'll change that from sh realistic to shaded. Okay, so here's our sculpted. Uh, model from Sculptress. Uh, if you hit 7, that will bring up the statistics. Uh, hit the plus sign, go to configure viewports, go to the statistics tab, and you want to get rid of frames for a second because it's pretty much useless. You want to check triangle count and total and selection. Hit apply, hit OK. <clears throat> Alright, so this model um, clocks out at News makes no difference, 650,000 triangles, which is a lot, but for a sculpted model that's pretty natural, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, what we want to focus on is converting this to a low poly mesh, so I'm going to right click, convert this to an editable polygon. Okay, in my modifiers list I'm going to hit PRO, and that's going to take me to the projection. You want to move to the Pro Optimizer modifier. Open that up. Okay, let me talk you through some of the settings. So, optimization options, this is pretty much the only thing you want to keep in mind when you're optimizing. Crunch borders um, will optimize the center and the edges of your model, so it won't pay any attention to the silhouette, so you might end up with something far different than the high poly model. Um, Protect borders is pretty much your best bet with characters since it will maintain the structure of the legs, the limbs, the arms, the neck, etc, etc. Um, exclude borders um, doesn't really work as well as protect borders since it pretty much ignores the border of your model completely and that can leave you with high poly edges around your silhouette, etc, uh, etc. Et um, so protect borders is your best bet. Materials and UVs, you don't need to worry about that since we don't have any UVs applied to this high poly model. And apart from that, everything else is default, I guess. So just hit calculate. And that's going to take some time depending on the poly count of your model. Give it a moment. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> so, um, in shaded mode, uh, just take the vertex percent down to around, let's say, 50%. Um, it's not going to make much of a difference. Alright, there we go. There's a little bit of a change in the polygon, but not much. Um, you're probably wondering why that is. And that's basically because if we grab our edged faces here and view this at 100% and take it down to 50, you'll notice that only um, the edges around the center of the silhouette are really being taken care of and that's because there are so many vertices and so many edges on this model that you first have to get rid of this stuff which isn't maintaining much of a shape so if we take this down to around maybe 10 or 20 percent you'll start noticing a difference let's change this back to edge face uh, shade hit enter okay still not much of a difference which is good really um, because that means that we can, hopefully, we'll be able to incorporate more detail into our low poly model. Let's take this down to 6.5%. Mm, maybe 4.575. Mm, let's try 3.25%. Alright, the ideal range I want to get this in is... Uh, maybe four to six thousand triangles. So from there, I'm just going to mess around with the vertex count. Um, 
let's take this down to 6,000. Let's see what we get. 11,000. Let's take this down to maybe 4,500. 8,000. Let's take it down to 3950. There we go. Not much of a difference. Let's try 3750. No, let's try 3200. And yeah, that's not bad. Um, 6000. Uh, 288 polygons is not bad. As you can see, your model is pretty uh, is pretty ugly at the moment. It's really chunky, and it doesn't look appealing at all. Um, you can solve that easily by adding smoothing groups. So once you're done with the Pro Optimizer, right click, convert it to another editable poly to collapse the mesh. Oogie. Um, Go to element selection, select all your elements, and scroll down to polygon smoothing groups, clear all if there are any, and then just because we're lazy, you can just hit auto smooth, then 3ds Max will smooth that for you. Alright, and there you go. That's not a bad looking optimization at all, really. Let's, for reference, bring in the high poly. <coughs> Just use the merge material. Let's bring that there. Okay, so as you can see, obviously you're going to be losing some of the de some of the skin detail, but overall it's not too bad. <coughs> so there's your high poly. And there's your low poly, and that's pretty much the easiest way you can optimize your sculpted high poly ZBrush or Sculptress created models in 3ds Max. So, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,